So I have just about everything done. This is the thumb drive. For some reason, if it was too close, it was interfering with the shifter. This is kind of like a downside. What I do plan on doing is buying the throttle. Um, the throttle, the one that works like this, it's a lot better because the controls are too tight here. And if you have your hand here, it's a long reach, especially if small hands, to reach here. And um, the owner of this bike is 5'2", so her hands are a little bit smaller. I was surprised at how good the computer looks. This is a e-bike link. S830. They have instructions online and it's very important because you do have to program it and I'll show you because if your motor is not turning on, chances are you probably did everything right. Uh, check the connections and all of that. It's all in here and we're about to go into this. And I decided to change the power and modes button onto the left because the right was getting a little bit cluttered. It might not be the best way but to power it on, if you have the battery on, you should be able to push M and it'll power on. Let's push M and the display goes up. The display is active and what you have here on the top, it's a pretty fairly like, they did a really great job with this. I am surprised. This is really the best bike kit I've ever installed. So you have here your speedometer. You might get your speedometer in kilometers, there is a way to change it. Here is your battery status. Right now, you have it at 100%. And then PAS is pedal assistance. I have not installed that yet. And then you have a three. So if you use the modes button, you can kind of go down on the pedal assisting. And then you have the odometer. Now you can push M and it'll cycle through your trip. So that's your trip. And then you can reset it. Um, vol, that's voltage, that's the current, that is the time. I haven't set those yet. So the important thing to do is that if you hold the, the up and down, if you hold the up and down on your selector, you're going to get this screen. And this is very important. This is how you adjust the settings. So if you want to change the power settings on the bike, this is how you do it. So we're gonna go through here. The important part to note is that up here, P01 really is 01. It's a, a little misleading, or at least it's hard to kind of figure out, but once you get the manual for this individual computer, you can kind of go through it. So if you push the M again, now I'm on two. 02, 03, 04, 05. Each one of these does a separate thing that changes the way the computer and the motor work. Once you get here, this part was confusing. So this is P1, 0. So that's 10. That's 11. That's 12. That's 13. That's 14. That's 16. And that's 1. So the way it works is that 1, you go up and down on the arrows, and that's this is really, it might be hard to see on camera, but down here, that is the setting. So you can see that's at one, that's the brightness. One is the darkest, three is the brightest. So I'm gonna keep it on three, and now I'm gonna go off into O2. O2 is either kilometer or miles. So you can see it change there. I'm using miles. Now let's go to three. Three is the voltage grade. This is where you have to figure out what motor you're using. I'm using a 36 volt. So if you are using 48 or 52, you would change it here. And if you change it into a 52, your battery starts decreasing because you don't have enough voltage. So I'm at 36. Four is sleep time. So Sleep time is basically zero means that the LCD screen will never go off for energy savings. So I like to keep the screen always on, so I'm going to leave it at zero. But if you wanted to increase it, you can just go up. You'll go, for example, keep it at five, five minutes, and then it'll turn off. But I'm going to keep it always on 
And five means uh, pedal assist grades. So there's only a few grades. There's three, there's five, there's nine. And that's the level of pedal assisting. I haven't installed the system yet, so I'm gonna leave it at three. Six, that's the wheel size in inches. I'm using a, a it's a 700cc, which equates to 27.5, I believe. So that's gonna be the speedometer, like the way it reads the speed. So 07 is range, one to 100. So a, you would put it at 46 if your motor was 1200, C, 1200 watts and above, but you want to keep it 01 for anything geared from 350 watts to 750 watts, so keep it at 01. 08 is the speed limit, so you can limit the speed, and 100 as it is now, I'm not limiting the speedometer, so that's 100 kilometers. I'm gonna keep it unlimited for now, but eventually I might turn it down for the owner so she can kind of get used to it. 09, 09 is zero and non-zero start setting. So if you keep it at zero, it's going to engage the motor instantly while non-zero, one, is gonna give it some delay when you throttle. So this actually could be a very good thing for a new rider. So this is going to be a delay and this is no delay so as a safety precaution i'm going to put it on one now 10 10 so 10 is the power drive so right now i'm on two which is so zero if you put it on zero it, zero is power drive the specific gear of the assist drive the size the assist power value in this status, the throttle does not work, so the throttle will not work on this. On one, the electric drive, the vehicle is driven by the handlebar. In this status, the power gear does not work. What we want is two, power drive and electric drive. Electric drive does not work in zero start stat status, so we're going to keep it on two. Now, on 11, um, I'm not sure what 11 is, but... On two, on 12, assist power intensity range, zero to five. Lower value means that it provides a little assistance when you start pedaling. So we'll keep it there. And 13, power magnet steel number. So I don't have the uh, pads installed yet, so I'm not gonna mess with that. And 14 is the current limiting of the controller. So currently this is um, set for 12, 12 amps. But if you have a 12 amp controller, you would set it here. I'm gonna leave it at 12. 16, this is the odometer. So I haven't put any miles on this bike, so there's nothing to set. And we're back to the original. So that's pretty much it. That's the way you set up your your status, so if your controller, your motor is not working, you have to go in these settings. Sometimes the settings are wrong and you're not gonna get any power. So let's go ahead and try and hit the thumb drive to see if the bike is gonna fire up. Make sure that you hold the brake. Now keep in mind that the pedal assist mode is at zero. You're gonna have to change that in order for the throttle to work. So after you've done all the settings, you wanna go up and down and you can see the level of assist now i haven't put the level assist yet but it it's not going to work by pushing the throttle so the bike is not going to work if it's at zero so if i push it nothing but now i'm going to lift up the rear wheel and i put it on one now i'm going to twist the throttle and there goes the the wheel this is on one it goes up to nine miles an hour on one. On, on one, it goes up to nine miles an hour of assist. On two, it goes up to 15, 16 miles per hour. On three, it goes to 20 miles per hour. On four, 
it goes to 24, 25 miles per hour. On five, which is the maximum, it goes to 30 miles per hour. This is not with a load, so there's no rider on the bike. So when you get on the bike itself, it, there's going to be a lot more load.